In this uh, new study, which we've just um, published, we present for the first time um, the results from the uh, animal work, which we have done, where we've looked at the immunogenicity from the vaccine after it has been insilicated and after it's been uh, insilicated and sent to uh, Newcastle from Bath using normal post, no cold chain involved. So uh, in these results, we're seeing that um, the uh, immune response in mice has been uh, preserved um, in the samples which were, uh, pre which were protected by insilication compared to the samples which were not protected where there is no immune response. So this is really exciting data because uh, it's really telling us that um, insilication is not only preserving the structure of the proteins, but also the function, the immunogenicity. And this is what we want to see in our vaccines. So we've been looking so far at um, tetanus toxoid, which is part of the uh, trivalent DTP vaccine, diphtheria tetanus pertussis vaccine. So this is a vaccine which is supposed to be given to every child around the world. So, and then once this is done, we, we're, th we're hoping that we will be able to move to other childhood vaccines too. In low-income countries, according to WHO, now millions of children have not received this vaccine because we cannot transport that. Hi, I am Aswan Duki and I work at the Department of Chemistry at the University of Bath. I hope that our results um, that we got from this paper um, will enable uh, the stable vaccines to be created uh, much faster than we're currently doing it. And hopefully um, manufacturers will pick up on this research uh, and explore that technology to make their vaccines available to people that are in need of